So today I was having a little bit of a think about dating. Now I am notoriously awful at getting a date. There have been some awkward encounters along the way. For example, so I just invited the guy that I really like to come and see this, but shh, he's standing right behind me. <laughs> Oh, he's so gorgeous. Sorry, we haven't been introduced. What's your name? My name's Trisha. His girlfriend. Then there was... Thank you so much for inviting me out. I mean, I've had the most incredible evening with you. It's been amazing. So, um, I was saying to Susie the other day... Sorry, um, Susie, that's your sister, right? No, my girlfriend. Oh! <laughs> so this isn't... a date? Who could forget? Oh my god, he's so dreamy. Wish he didn't have a girlfriend. Send. No. No! No! Fuck shit. Right. Box. Ah! New message. Just joking. Bad joke. Then of course there are those awkward moments where you meet someone while you're a bit drunk. You're single! That's really exciting. Because I'm single as well. Excuse me. When I really fancy someone... I can't think of anything to say! Oh god, how did I flirt before? What are you doing? Oh god, no. No. Okay. You can make this better. No, stop trying to mop it up. Stop. Good. Good call. Come the fuck on, Bridget. When I like someone, I sometimes get caught doing this. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> and there's always that awkward moment where you think you're being hilarious and sexy and you think it's going really well. People just stereotype female actors into this kind of weird subcategory of kind of slutty darty women, and I, I just find it ridiculous. I, I'm sorry, what? Oh my god! Add to that clumsiness, falling over, accidentally bringing up taboo subjects, laughing too hard at my own joke. How do you invite an aunt to a party? Would you like to come to a party? What's the difference between an egg and a wank? You can beat an egg. No? Masturbation joke's not funny. Fair enough. You wait yourself laughing, and the guy's just sitting there like... Check. Then there was the time someone said to me, Oh, Ash, you're so amazing. Really? Am I? You're just like my sister. <laughs> then there's that really awkward thing, when someone says that they like equality, and you find yourself unconsciously trying to live up to that... I really like funny girls. Guy walks into a bar. Ouch. No. I really like sporty girls. Did, did you know I played goalkeeper netball until the age of 16? And then I did trampolining. I won a 5k once, but I didn't win. I participated. I may have had to walk some of it. So do you exercise now? <laughs> oh, you're serious? But you know, there is some hope. When my family keep trying to set me up with people. I've just had the most amazing idea. A very nice man, two doors down, just passed away. Very sad. You should go to his funeral. He beat so many nice young Catholic men. I, I really don't think I, I feel up to pulling at a funeral. Oh yeah, funeral fishing. Funerals are kind of a big deal in Ireland. It's kind of like their version of take me out. And then you have the other kind of awkwardness. When people ask you out, and you just don't feel a spark there. The thing is, I am just very busy at the moment. The thing is, I'm just emotionally not ready to be in a relationship. You're great. The thing is, I just value our friendship so much. Oh, I'm a horrible person to be in a relationship. You do not want to go out with me. If anything seems kinder, then I'm sorry. I really don't fancy you. At all. No. 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 And the problem is, because I'm an actor, I'm naturally kind of flirty. And then someone hits on me. Oh, no, 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 no. 
See, I, I just, I just see you as a great person to work with and be a friend with. I don't. Why did you get that? I was, I, I wasn't. I'm, I'm sorry. Shit. Essentially, I'm just a bit ridiculous. For a while, I thought I could be the kind of girl that just, you know, had fun and had flings and got off with random guys in bars. But I'm not. I'm kind of a romantic. To be honest, if I meet someone, I meet them. If I meet someone that likes me, then they'll like me for the babbling, inconsistent, bad at making up jokes human being I am. And I'm not willing to settle for something less than wonderful. And I hope that you will find something incredible, whether that means being in a relationship or being on your own. From Ash Acting Up, over and out.